Welcome back, my friends. It's been a while, so today we're going to try playing the medium. I've been wanting to play this for a while, uh, ever since I saw the trailer for it when it was first announced. I really wanted to play it. It really has a um, Silent Hill feel to it, so I thought it might be fun to definitely uh, play and try out. So we're going to try this. Hopefully you enjoy. And of course, no sound. I don't know what it's doing or why it does that. Tea's boiling. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. Okay. No wonder people used to think I was strange. You mean they don't anymore? If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his next journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Never an easy time. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Busy person. So I'm looking around for his tie clip. Got it. Kitty cat. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Is it though? You don't seem like a cat person.
Looks nourishing. <laughs> you say so. There you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Can you pet the kitty? Oh, you can't pet the kitty. Symbolic funeral of the Sears of Mine. Okay, so this takes place. What, the 90s? 99, okay. Pretty sure Bill Clinton is not in office anymore. I can't anymore. believe it's all still here. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Yeah, taking it in. Okay. Eliminate the photo for five seconds. Dip in multi grade for three seconds. Stop in three seconds and fix her for three seconds. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Okay. Illuminate for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Which one's which? Because it's really better. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. It's a nice picture. Shit. Okay. What do we got here? Ah, uh, right. The okay. tie clip. Can't leave yet. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Being be a real estate. No one's expecting you to be all together. Interesting. Uh, okay, what's interesting about the book, 1984? I don't know. Can I make a phone call? No. Oh, let's go in here first. Hey. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Yep. You are special. I'm sure. Otherwise there wouldn't be a game about you. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Yeah, usually. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. That's good. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Why is it there? It's a weird place. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. To the other room. Time to say goodbye. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Oh, that's good. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Being a dork can be cute. Or so I'm told. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Well, that's cool. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kind of creepy, but whatever. To each their own, I guess. All right, now I can leave. I like we it lived so upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. That was probably worse. Besides. If it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Fair. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. The last goodbye, get on home. Last goodbye, get home. Down here. What's yeah. That? Who doesn't? Uh, need to get out. Jack's in the prep room. There's not the prep room there. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Okay. Nothing here. Although, I want to see the 
Almost looked like uh, Yggdrasil. Which is kind of interesting. Looks like the uh, world tree. Ghosts or spooks? Goblins, ghoulies? Hope not. Kinda creepy going down here. <sighs> not sure if I'm ready for this. Of course you're not. Why would you be? would be more surprised. Hey, Jack. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Indeed. Oh, it's right there. Kind of an ugly tie. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. At least to me, it's an ugly tie. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. you're ready. That's harsh. But am I? No, not really. people read the signs that's closed awesome. <sighs> lights flickering and going out in a funeral home that's not creepy not at all Yeah, okay, that's nice. I was kidding when I asked about the ghosts and ghoulies and spooks. I don't have to bring one. You don't have to be one. Uh, no, that's not creepy at all. Can I just leave? I just, nope. Not leaving, huh? Just not. Can't just nope out of there. Uh. What the hell? Guess you felt it too, huh? Hmm. And then it happened, as it did so many times before. 
just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? Yeah. Yeah. I... It's fine, Jack. Yeah. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Nope. Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Listen, Jack. Should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I know, I, I can't just. What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You. You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 notebook? Shh, shh, shh. Huh? It's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? Probably the only friendly ghost I'm gonna find in this game. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get uh, some rest. Oh, okay. Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff, then. All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need, though. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Oh. Remember that. Always. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I imagine not. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. Yeah. I love you too, Daddy. Half a butterfly pendant. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Sucks to be alone. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know yeah. you. It all starts with a dead girl. 
Okay. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Someone's got some explaining to do. So far so good. I'm enjoying it. I haven't really done much yet. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. I can too, just by looking at it. Look at all those crows. Or ravens, or whatever. This place looks like crap. Oof. Don't like. Anyone home? I guess not. Okay, someone's both are. This is what the pretty bad. Hello? Hello? Thomas? That's kind of weird. Sure, you can't just climb over that shit? It's 
sweep it off the table and go from there. Okay. You want to keep me out, Neva? We're gonna have to do better than that. That guy was just up here. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just stopped. Government-owned vacation. And so vacation. an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Some combination of the two. Creepy. <laughs> That's even worse. Huh. Hello. Footprints. Yay. They're leading me somewhere uh, that I don't have a choice of going anyway. Like, seriously. It's not like I can go anywhere else. I have to follow the path. What's this? Handprint. Here. Something no. happened here. Yeah, Haven. Do you not read the sign? I did. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Through here, not with the power out. 
Okay, so when you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. What is the hard way? Dead. Like everything else in this place. Soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. No. Nope. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Rough. Okay, now I guess I go over here. Back here. In any case. I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Yep. Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. <laughs> These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Disconcerting. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. More footsteps. Caution, fire hazard. this way. What's this? What the hell? I have no idea. <laughs> Not seeing anything to um, interact with her. Alright. 
I there yet? Looks like it. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Okay. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even okay. the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Chained. You can't get in that way. Hello? Anybody in there? Let's break the glass. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. <laughs> Sounds wrong. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. It's a screwdriver. Ow! Shit! <laughs> what the hell? There's a ghost playing tricks on you, of course. If it has that much of an aura, this place is gonna be haunted as shit. Okay. 
Alright, nothing else here it looks like. Cool. <laughs> Do I really want to go into the haunted resort? Not really. Sense besides footprints. I don't see anything else. playing hopscotch? Seems kind of odd, but you know, whatever. Further force things. Alright, see what I can do here. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> Starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. So far, let me know what you think. And until next time, my friends, enjoy.